universality. A quote from the Divine Iliad. I am newly come from the high heavens, bearing the gift of love to man, to tear away the veil which hides the radiant face of God, to extend to man knowledge of his God, so that man may know himself as an extension of the one being of the universe, is the purpose of my message. Therefore, hear thou me, all people of all nations. Who knows the meaning of oneness? Until one knows that meaning, one believes that he lives and dies as a separate person, not knowing of his universality as a part of the whole of creation. The brook on the mo mountainside is an individual. Its name is Laughing Waters. Everyone knows that individual on the mountainside, knows where to find it, knows its song of, laughter, of Laughing Waters, knows its form just as we know the form of John Jones and Susie Smith as individuals. But that brook is being born and reborn forever and ever. Its individuality is a continuous one, an eternal one, an immortal one. That brook is forever seeking the oneness from which it came for the purpose of again becoming that brook whose name is Laughing Waters. It came from the ocean. It sought the heavens to find rest, and it returned to the ocean to express the individuality of the one from which it sprang for the purpose of expressing the ideal of water. It is forever attached to the heavens. It never is separated from the heavens. It is not just a brook which begins on the mountainside. If it could think, it would think of itself as an individual brook. It would not realize that it is replenishing itself forever from the heavens to be forever reborn for the purpose of seeking the oneness from which it comes. Nor could it realize that it is repeating itself as an individual forever and forever only because of its inseparability from both the heavens and the sea. We are seeking that oneness and we are seeking separateness in individuality forever and forever. The greatest desire of man seems to be to retain his individuality. I am John Jones. I live in Boston. My address is so-and-so. Will I always be John Jones? When I come back again, will I remember who I am? And when the play is finished on this planet, will I start again as John Jones? Will I keep my individuality? That is the perpetual question of all mankind. John Jones does not realize that he sprang from the eternal, immortal, one universal being and is constantly being replenished by him. John Jones, the individual, could not say before Abraham was, I am. He would not know what it meant. But John, knowing of his oneness with the one from whom he sprang and from the ever replenishing of that oneness from the light of the heavens, John Jones, knowing the rhythm of his body as something which is flowing out of him and into him all the time, unfolding and refolding from light of sun and earth, never being the same for a moment, that John Jones would, could say before Abraham was, I am, and he would know what it meant. To be a great individual is to know how to lose one's life in order to find it to die sequentially in order to sequentially reborn. Every thought is a cycle. One half of every cycle is away from God toward separateness. The other equal half is back toward God to oneness. Each action of life is the fulfillment of the law of the two opposite desires of God to manifest in units and multiplicity as individuals drawing their power from God, knowing of their relationship with God, and then returning to God in every thought cycle as in every life cycle. In thinking, we concentrate to manifest God by building form images which are conceived first in the mind of God and then extended through the mind of man in form images created by man's co-creating with God. We must decentrate to conceive and then concentrate to create forms of our concepts. When we can do that, we can say, before Abraham was, I am. 
We can also say it with authority and know that we are one with God. Men who can knowingly say this are great individuals, and there are but few of them, one in millions. On the face of the earth today, 999,999 of every million do not know it, but they do not know of their they do not know of their immortality as sons of God. They are the individuals who wish to retain their individuality, hug it, nurse it, not knowing from whence their power comes, not knowing that separable units of any of ideal of God's creation are impossible. In this new age, we must have more of such universal men. The cosmic age is coming into being. This is the age in which we shall know God, know his nature in order that we may obey its laws. The message of the Divine Iliad is a cosmic message of power for all who are going out into the world to manifest oneness through multiplicity. The way to be a creative individual is to know that each person is an inseparable extension of the one great individual. Never lose sight of that for a moment. Do not pray morning, noon, and night at times at times intervals. Let your prayers be continuous from moment to moment. To know God is to be God. To know God one must decentrate, which means to stop thinking or lose one's individuality in oneness with God. For each decentrated thought goes to the source to bring back the concentrated expression of it for the purpose of being a great individual by knowing one's immortal self as an extension of God. The Divine Iliad is a message to the new age, to the new race which will spring from new knowing of God, of the laws of nature, and of the relationship of man to God, not as separate units of the man ideal, but as unity, as wholeness, oneness, inseparable oneness. Within the message is the secret of light, God is light. Light is all that is. To know the secret of light is to know all things. Immortality manifest immortality. But when we leave out immortality and manifest only mortality, we are weaklings. We have been weaklings for too many centuries, too many long centuries. Let us grow up. Let us awaken into the light of one new day. Let the spiritual be reborn in us. Let us rise above our sensing and know that we are extensions of the one source. Then let us manifest that source in power.